Comedian and radio host Dana Steele takes on a really serious subject in her new book. It is called Surviving Alzheimer's with Friends. Facebook and a really big glass of wine, and Dana is here. Welcome, Dana. Thank you. I love that everybody gets that last part of yeah, the. Yeah, uh, really You have big, to read it that way. A really big glass. And of we wine. say it's a book. It's not just a book. It's it's your life story. You lived this with it your is, mother. It is. It is. I chronicled my journey with my mom and her Alzheimer's uh, on Facebook. It started mm -hmm. really as a chicken's way out of letting people know she had it because I didn't want to say a hundred times right. mom has Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. I just I didn't think I could do it. And it was probably also a way for you to sort of release what was going on oh, inside. And, unbelievably and cathartic. Um, I was on the radio for a long time, thus the picture of Garth behind us. Yes, that's our uh, Garth Kemp. So uh, huh. I guess he was Garth Hemp oh. uh, in the 80s. And we, yes, we Secret were on the radio skilled. together. Um, but, you know, I found that there was a lot of dark humor, mm -hmm. and I thought maybe something was wrong with me, so I would post these stories. And not only would people laugh with me, they would then give me their stories. So, yeah, it became a, it was a very cathartic way to deal with it. And then I realized I was creating a community. It was like my own support right. group, and it was helping other people. And yeah. it, it, the reactions must have encouraged you that maybe there's something more I, I need to explore here, and thus comes the book. And, and we decided about two years in, I decided I wanted it to be a book because people kept saying, I wish you would compile all of this. And I went back to compile it and realized I couldn't live it and relive mm -hmm. it at the same time. Mm -hmm. It was just too hard. So uh, my co-author, Heather, happened to be another mom in the neighborhood who said, mm -hmm. you know, I'm an empty nester. Got anything for me to do? And I said, mm -hmm. yeah, go back and see if you can find everything I posted about mom since the beginning of her diagnosis. And that's the book. So the first half is all the Facebook posts and, and, and not all the comments. You don't have to wait there. We've tried to put the stuff that was just either funny or insightful or helpful. And then the other half of the book is everything I wish I had known. What questions to ask, um, the, uh, the assisted living options, um, the stages, everything. Because I'm a fairly well-read, well-traveled woman, but yeah. I didn't know where to begin. Yeah, there's no instruction manual, and, and mm -hmm. you kind of put it all together, as you said, from mm -hmm. diagnosis to her death, and you get some expert opinions to tell people what to expect, and, and really just, it, it's, so, it's like talking to a girlfriend. And that's what I wanted it to be, because I had so many people that reached out to help me, and, and I wanted to help people. I, not a week goes by now that I don't get a phone call from either a friend or a complete stranger. Um, the flight attendant on the flight yesterday from Houston cornered me in the back of the plane mm. and had questions about her dad. And everybody asked basically the same thing, where do I start? Mm. What do I do? And, and the way I answer that is by communicating with your loved one and everyone around you. What do you want? Uh, where do you want to stay? How do you want to be cared for? Do we have any money? We don't have money. How are we going to do it? ask all these questions and communicate as soon as you can. Yeah, the, the, those uh, first few years or sometimes months for some people are, are treasured moments. And, and I love that you, uh, you managed to take the reader on this journey where yes, there are tears, but there's also a lot of humor. And, and Alzheimer's disease, as sad and debilitating as it is, there are these moments of light. You have to laugh or you would be crying all the time. Um, there was one story that somebody told that I thought was so sweet about um, Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. And he would get up every morning and he would sweep all the, I, I guess he would get all the leaves out of the pool. And then he would go in and have lunch and his nap. And while he was doing that, the Secret Service would put all the leaves back in the pool. <laughs> and then when he would wake up from his nap, he would go do. So these are, I thought that was a sweet story. And um, one of my favorite stories from the book, and it may be more Texas centric, but it was, um, there's a fast food restaurant that if you dress up as a cow once a year, you get a free lunch. So mm -hmm. they took all these people from the assisted living and one fell and the rest of them fell. And, and I made sure there was no broken hips or anything right. before I posted this, but I had to call it cow tipping because <laughs> it's just what it was and it made me laugh. And uh, the first time my mom said, oh, I said, um, my middle name is Francis. She goes, that's my name. And I said, I know I'm named after you. She goes, you are? Why? And I said, because I'm your daughter. And she goes, prove it. And I just, I started laughing. I mean, it should have been. that's the light said, that we talk yeah, about, but I'm like, the humor. I took her to a mirror and I said, look at us. You know, <laughs> I look like you. So you have to find those things and you have to talk about it. 
I feel and so it, sad for Gene Wilder's family. Yeah, you talk but they about kept everything. it secret. They yeah, kept it he secret. He said he didn't want another smile yeah. lost in the world. So beautiful stories. They're all in the book, Dana. Thank you so much. Thank you. For more information about Dana Steele and her book, just go to kcal9.com.